Did you know the role of Simi in Andhadhun was written specially keeping Tabu in mind? Stay tuned as we've got many more interesting facts in store for you. Welcome to IMDb Spotlight. I'm Anupama Chopra. And I'm Dipanjana Pal. And today we're talking about one of India's most versatile actors, Tabu, who is known for her performances in Andhadhun, Drishyam, Heather and Life of Pi. So, Dipanjana, I'm very excited. Very excited. Because Tabu. She, she has my heart. <laughs> she has my soul. She will do anything and I will be like... <laughs> you know? Exactly. I feel exactly the same way. Um, and you know what is amazing to me is that here's an actor who's done this over 30 years. Yeah. It's incredible. The body of work, the longevity, uh, the level of excellence. There is nothing she has not done. Yeah. She has danced around trees. She has done the two-bit role. Mm -hmm. She's done everything that an actor is told not to do. Like She's won you know, the National Award. Then she's gone ahead and won the National Award as well. And it is such a joy to watch someone who has been defiant about aging and being beautiful while she ages. Like, yeah. I mean, at every stage, she has been the age that she is playing, which is, which sounds stupid to be pointed out as a fact, but this does not happen in any film industry. It's not just us. Nowhere do women post that 30 year mark play their age. Yeah. This is one woman who has, and she has just made it, made every role her own in the process. Whatever you want her to do, it's like, she'll be like, oh, cool. <laughs> Ow. According to her IMDb credits, Tabu's first appearance in a feature film was at the age of 10. 10 in the film Bazaar. Then at the age of 14, she acted again in Devanand Stara Ham Nojawan. She played the role of Devanand's daughter in that film. Her first full-fledged role was in a Telugu movie titled Kuli No. 1 opposite the South Star Venkatesh. So imagine being on a set at 10 and 14. With Devanand playing with your choti, like right. th that is not a regular childhood, is what I'm going to no, say. No, but I wonder, I wonder, and and you know, I would love to sort of ask her this the next time I'm I have an interview is what did you learn at that age? Like, mm. are you even picking up anything, or is it just osmosis and you're just soaking it in? So, I remember uh, the first time I remember seeing Tabu was in her film Prem, which took eight years to come out. Yeah. Um, and Sanjay Kapoor. Sanjay Kapoor and her. She has a double role in that film. The only reason I remember that film is her. It was regrettable on most accounts, but she was so luminous as both this village belle as well as the modern, you know, kind of thing. And she, of course, she was familiar with the camera. Partly, I think, of course, she was on uh, screen at age 10. But her sister, Farah, was a very well-established actress uh, of her time. And I remember when Prem came out, it was Farah's sister, Tabu. Of course. <laughs> you know? Of course. Farah just, was big. She, she did was. a film with Yash Chopra. She was, you know, she was... She was a big deal. She was a big deal. And so Tabu was like her sister, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even in her... Uh, in that, you know, little clip that you'll find easily on YouTube of uh, her and Devanand, she holds her own, which is amazing, right? Like, I, I think being a teenager and next to Devanand, that should be giving you some sort of palpitations. But no, not at all. Not when you're the boo. <laughs> but yeah, Prem I watched and I, th I did not think that some, okay, Prem came out in uh, 1995. We are now in 2022. I would never have thought that that actor is going to continue and ascend to the kind of height she has today. It's and amazing. And still be at the top of a game. Still at the top she of a game. She just delivered a 250 crore blockbuster called Bhul Bhulanya 2. A double role yeah. at her age as though it's such a crazy thing. But it is because yeah. women don't get those opportunities that much in uh, Hindi film industry in particular, but generally in film. But she's also proved that she can take a bad year and make it amazing. You know, amazing. This is just a love fest. <laughs> According to Tabu's IMDb page, Chadni Ba's producer, 
R. Mohan set up the meeting between uh, Madhur Bhandarkar and Tabu without telling her that his first film, Tri Shakti, was not a commercial success, which is diplomatic as it gets. It was a outright failure, an outright failure, if we're really talking. And I love the fact that he said Madhur Bhandarkar is Ram Gopal Varma's assistant. That's right. He was just going to gloss over the fact that he made a film that didn't work entirely. But you know, what's the happy ending to this? That, okay, then of course, Madhur said that no, we do need to tell her and they were honest with her. And then she still took that, that narration because I think R. Mohan, you know, sort of said that, please listen to, mm. to Madhur. Uh, and then halfway through that narration, she said, Madhur, this is a fantastic script and I'm doing it. And what a performance. I think that is 2001 is when Chadni Bar comes out. And I think that is when everyone really sits up and takes notice mm -hmm. of Tabu. It's not that she hadn't done films before that. She'd had hits and everything. But here was a gutsy actor. This was the first time we realized that. And, uh, and that's what... I mean, I feel like these are these behind the screen uh, sort of stories that I read. It's great to have them written down somewhere because it tells you both of the, you know, kind of frenetic, manic energy that this industry powers itself on. I will say you're Ram Gopal Varma's assistant. You just pretend, okay. And, some, and Mother Vandaka is also initially like, ha, chal, it's cool. As long as we get her before conscience strikes and he's like, you know what? <laughs> cannot. <laughs> I cannot lie this much. Well, if, if you know, we had had the Indian IMDb at that time, all she would have to do is just... Can you imagine? Just like go what to Google IMDb, and yeah. be like, IMDb, Madhur Bhandarkar, your credit is not there. <laughs> or go. I will... But the thing is that, you know, she still did read the script. Like, yeah. it's, uh, or yeah. hear the script. Yeah. Because, of course, they're all narrated. But yeah, amazing. According to the film's IMDb page, Tabu beatboxed for one of the songs titled Payalia Chunmun Chunmun in Virasat, which is a film I love. Mm. I, I mean, we were speaking briefly about Prem, which is, like I said, my first memory of her. Uh, she plays a village belle in that as well, one of her two roles. But Virasat was such an accomplished performance. Mm. It was also seeing Tabu in a the rural avatar, which no one had seen her in for a very long time. She'd been in all the poofed up hair and rhinestone kind of movements. Uh, so, and if you actually think about it on paper, Virasat is very much about the men in it the is. film. It right? is, it is, yeah. Um, Gehna, her role is a side character and she gives it so much depth from little things like expressing her desire She's innocent, but she is sexually attracted to her husband and she wants that intimacy. And it's done with such she grace so and sweetness. Yeah, she's you know? just sweet. Yeah. You don't, yeah. uh, you go, it's very rare that I, that I will see a scene of intimacy and go, oh, <laughs> but Vinasat is one of those. Yeah. And then the beatboxing thing that you're talking about, that's such a lovely friendship between Pooja Batra's character and Tabu's character. Again, something that we see very little of, you know, women. It was, it could have been a classic love triangle, city woman, city woman and rural belle. None of them see eye to eye, but instead they become friends yeah. over this little song. It's so nice. And it was done. such a great song. According to Tabu's IMDb page, Meera Nair initially wanted Rani Mukherjee to play the role of Oshima in the namesake after she had seen her in Mani Ratnam's Yuva. Rani Mukherjee couldn't sign the film due to conflicting dates. After that, Meera Nair wanted Konkona Sen Sharma to play the role. She couldn't commit either because she was working on Aparna Sen's film, um, 15 Park Avenue, which is also brilliant. Um, after which the director signed Tabu for the role. You know, I have to say, as lovely as Rani and Konkana both are as actors, I don't think anybody else. I can't imagine anyone else as Oshima. Yeah. She was just perfect. And even, so this is something that I found amazing about uh, Tabu over the years. Whatever community you place her in, she looks like she belongs. Yeah. Marches, she's a Punjabi woman. Of course she is. Uh, Oshima, Namesake. Yeah. Of course, she is Bengali. We wish we looked like her. But anyway, um, it, it doesn't matter. Iruvar, she seems like, yeah. oh yeah, sure. This 
effortless blending. Um, and you remember the first time we see Oshima when she tries on on his shoes. shoes. Yes. Oh my God! It's such a lovely scene. It's a, it's so good. Like, yeah. And another. It's another, so tender. So tender. And yeah. this is the thing that she does so well. Of course, she can do fantastic dialogue delivery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but she she knows how to imbue these silent moments with so much unaffected character you know like at no point does but it that's feel like the key a performance word, Banja, i feel like that is unaffected is what is her superpower because i you know there's many many actors especially in hindi cinema which which where everything has this sheen of gloss yeah you know uh, and and where even the performances are performances mm -hmm. it's it's you can see the work you can see the sweat uh, with her you just can't and as Oshima, you know, in that scene, especially the shoe scene, uh, there's such a lovely sense of mischief that that she brings into it. Yeah. And, and for me, that that film and then, of course, Makbul are the two great sort Absolutely. of taboo moments. And, and of course, because both were also with Ifan, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, you know, they're both such excellent actors and such a joy to see that relationship. And uh, let's not forget that in The Namesake, she goes from being possibly a young woman in her early 20s all the way to an older mother. An older mother. A mother of a grown up man. Of a man who's some five years younger than That's her right. Something. That's right. <laughs> I mean, okay. Um, Calpen should be so lucky. But, you know, but it was. You never felt that this was a stretch, you no, know, which no. is which is taboo for you all but, over. But also, you know, think about. Uh, think about a suitable boy. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, the, the relationship between Tabu's character and Ishan Khattar's character was the single sort of absolute thing that popped out from all of that. And at no point, and of course, credit also to Mira Nair, who's who's a wonderful director. But but at no point did you think that oh my god, is this possible? Look at this age difference. They just looked. Yeah. She makes you feel like whatever she's doing there is the only way to do that scene. Yeah. Like there's nothing else that would um, that would work. As per the film's IMDb page, Andadun director Shiram Raghavan initially did not think of Ayushman Khurana while writing the character Akash. All he wanted was an actor who has a sense of music, although he made the character of Simi keeping in mind Tabu. I mean, there's another amazing character, right? Yeah, like, yeah. how often do you meet a character with her husband's dead body in the corner? Like that in itself, what a great setup. And that sequence is, is you it's know, one gold. of my favorites. It's gold. It's absolute gold. And, and also the bit before when she's in the kitchen making the crabs and she says it's an aphrodisiac spelling name. Okay. <laughs> I know that was, and you know that 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 look of sort of the seductress that she mm. has on her face, and again, but unaffected, not not in a very obvious way, mm. which which is what I think is so lovely about her. And of course, she was smashing in another. And again, it's a it's a really gutsy move to take that role. Yeah, I don't yeah. think there would have been that many um, actors who would have embraced a role as sharp and angular as Simi is, and. But uh, she saw the deliciousness in it. Absolutely. Also, sometimes I wonder what I wonder whether she saw the deliciousness or she brought the deliciousness. Maybe. You yeah, know? Yeah. Because yeah. there's so much she brings to yeah. every again silent moments. Yeah. How much she fills in those silent moments and um, which is why he wrote it. Yeah, he, he he yeah. said uh, in uh, an interview that I generally start thinking about casting once the scripting is done. But Tabu, I had in mind even while writing the character. She was so cool when I approached her. She also used to get zapped by the character while I was narrating. She's one person who doesn't look at the monitor after each and every scene, which is again something that blows my mind because that means she knows exactly what she's done. And she doesn't it's need the, to see it again. It's, but it's also, you know, depends on the security of an actor who is okay to not be in the press all the time. Yeah. Is, so that it's it's an extension of that same thing. You don't look at the monitor all the time because you know that you are a fine actor and you you instinctively feel you've delivered what was required. All the way to you know you're a fine actor and therefore you don't need to be shot. 
<laughs> and in the news every day. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, and, and that again is, I think, part of what Meera was saying that she has something of the eternal because there is a mystery. Mm -hmm. You know, she is, of course, on Instagram. She will post, but you feel like you don't fully know Tamil. No, no, she's we not letting know. you in beyond yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what she ate for lunch or which gym she is doing Pilates in. And in this age, that's an amazing thing. Absolutely. And, and also, let's not forget, by the time Andhad Dhun happens, she's very much the reigning queen of intelligent acting, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, which is why if you listen to the dialogues very carefully in Andhad Dhun, there are these little Easter eggs, references to Makbul and, you know, uh, Heather yeah, as well. To her filmography. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because it, it's almost like a fan service that is being done by... <laughs> you know? Tabu fans, this one's for you. <laughs> As per Tabu's IMDb page, Tabu and Ajay Devgan worked together for the first time in Vijaypath. While they have completed nine films together, they have known each other since the age of 13. So, so I find this very funny and, and Tabu said this in an interview that, you know, she's single because, partly because of Ajay, <laughs> because he, he, they've known each other since they were kids and he would just be like, threatening any boy who showed any interest in her and, and they've been best friends all through and they've done such amazing work together. I mean, um, mystifying, honestly, because you watch, I'm going to just run down the list. Vijaypath, Hakikat, Takshak, Drishyam, Golmal again, De De Pyar De. Now, some of these like Takshak didn't work quite as well, but they have always been good together. Yes. Right? Like yes. they're a great example of how friendship can be used to do on screen chemistry. Yeah. You yeah. know, usually if you are friends, it doesn't feel credible that you're going to be lovers. Yeah. Uh, but I guess when you've been friends since 13, anything can happen. You no, know, so when I talked to her a couple of months ago, I said to her that you and Irfan are the a part of a very exclusive club. Hmm. The only two actors in the world who worked with Anis Bazmi and Ang Lee. That's so true. Think about it. That's the range of Tabu. Yeah. And that was the range of Irfan. And the thing is that like, uh, both of them are completely credible even doing these In insane things, bilkul, right? Bilkul. I mean, whether she's dancing with Ajay Devgan or Sunny Deol or like whoever there are the mountains and she's wearing a halter top sounds perfectly fine when she's doing it. And then she'll go ahead and, you know, do Ang Lee or whatever the hell else and be like, ah, chal, this is also entirely credible. Exactly. It never ceases to amaze me. Yeah. Um, She's yeah. also being now directed by Ajay in Bhola. That's going to be released next year. And, and you know, uh, she said that it's amazing because he's so different as an actor. Mm. You know, they're fooling around. There's obviously a very deep abiding friendship. But she said like literally the next day I went on the set of Bhola and it was my first experience of being directed by him. And he was another man. Ah. He was so serious and so focused that she was like, Ye <laughs> I, I'm also very fond of the antagonism that they have in the Drishyam series. Absolutely. You know, like, Absolutely. again, how to use and your friends. And who French... else could play that? Nobody else. You know, they are matched. They are even. You're actually afraid for him yeah. when she's on screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No one does menace as well as she does. Yeah. Even, um, even if you see her adaptation of Gertrude in Heather, there's so much danger in every look that she, you know, casts towards the camera. Like I, the kind of menace that she can add to femininity. Uh, it's, I think it's rooted in that confidence that you speak of, you know, like uh, she, she doesn't play unsure women. Very rarely have we seen her play a woman who is unsure. Like even Gena in Vadasat, she has, she has nervousness, but not unsurety. She is quite confident of herself. Thank you very much uses it so well. According to IMDb, for her upcoming film Khufia, the director Vishal Bharadwaj flipped the gender of the protagonist so he could cast Tabu. Now that's the ultimate compliment. I love it. I don't want a man, I want Tabu. <laughs> so he said uh, at the launch event at Netflix, the film is based on Amar Bhushan's espionage novel uh, Escape to Nowhere. The character was male, but it was not that exciting for me. When I thought of Tabu, the excitement was more. And I changed the gender of the character. I found a reason to work with Tabu and I got that. <laughs> I love it. And you know, at the same event, he also said that I have been in love with yeah. Tabu over many lifetimes. Oh, 
and you can see that she brings out something completely special yeah. in Vishal Bharadwaj films, undoubtedly. I mean, that magical pairing of uh, Magbul, which I think, I mean, today it's so much more poignant for us because we all miss an actor like uh, Irfan, but just the kind of, the way they could hold a scene, we've really not seen and anything like that. And look at like the that. risk again for her to do that character. You know, she's, you know, this this lover of this aging Dawn, but mm -hmm. actually in love or maybe not in love, maybe trying to just move her place in life with the Dawn's right hand man. And, you know, that that bit in the film where she sort of actively steps on a thorn so that she can lean on him and he can touch her foot. Mm. It's incredible. And then there's that scene I have never forgotten right at the end when she's dying in his arms and she looks at him and says, Kya sab guna tha mia. Ya hamara ishq to oh, paak tha. And yeah. it wasn't. It was no. you know, it's it's just so beautifully done. And I just feel like this is a woman for the ages. This is an actor for the ages. And what she's done is actually the Panjana sort of redefined who the Hindi film heroine is. Absolutely. She knows exactly what she's doing and she, because she has that confidence, it never slips. Like, Magbul could easily have been the mistress role, you know? Of course. Because on paper, that's kind of that's what, what it, it is. That's what it is, yeah, yeah. But you'll never even in a mistaken moment think that she's a mistress. Yeah. Because she's, she's power. She's, within powerlessness, she is power, which is... And she's Machiavellian in what she's trying to do. Yeah, uh, unashamed, unabashedly, manipulative. Yeah. And and yet also powerless. Like there is a there is that desperation, and all of these things they are written in the script, but she brings it out. And she's she said about uh, Vishal Bharadwaj that you know whatever script you write, he'll think of me only. If another actress does it, that'll be a different thing. But the story will be written for me only. Which I mean, there's another like that's the confidence of a relationship. You know, a really good working partnership yeah. where you know that. That story has you in mind and you can make it work in a way that nobody else can. Absolutely. Which oh. is why you and I will always be Taboo fans. Always. In that fan club where we can never get to the presidency because Vishal Bharadwaj is occupying that spot. And one must give the man the, that respect because truly she, she, is, she is always magnificent, I think. Like, I don't think she, I don't think she can ever do badly in a role. Uh, she will lift whatever film she's in, but but it's a little bit special when it's Vishal Bharadwaj. It is. Agreed. Absolutely. Oh. Looking for fun facts and trivia about the movies? Download the IMDb app for more amazing stories about your favourite celebrities. And if you are also a Tabu fan and think you know more such facts that the whole world would enjoy, don't forget to add them on Tabu's IMDb page.